And what are all you doing? What are you all doing on this beautiful Saturday night? Hey everyone, Amy with 100 plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. Godiva and Gage getting their last night, last minute zoomies out before we call it a night. Everybody's been out. Godiva had a nice long walk. Thank you, Carol. Made a big poopy for the night. Had treats. And now I'm letting them get all their energy out. So hopefully they will sleep peacefully. Will you let go of his ear, Godiva? Guys, they are so gorgeous. They are such great dogs. Lab Mal Mix. Mommy Godiva is about two years of age. Her son Gage is seven months, going on seven months. Came from a life of unimaginable hell. Living on the streets of Miami, mommy was pregnant, gave birth to her 10 puppies under a shed where our team went out and rescued the entire family. All nine puppies have been adopted into amazing loving homes. And left here is mommy and baby Gage. Bonded, bonded, bonded love each other cannot separate these two there has to be a family out there that are looking for maybe you lost a pet you lost two I've received calls in the past many of times we've adopted out so many wonderful bonded pairs zoom in a little bit they play hard they love hard they share food out of the same bowl they share bones they drink water out of the same bowl she grooms him, she cleans him, she puts him in check, and they're still sitting here and waiting. When we rescued all the puppies, they were two weeks of age, their eyes weren't even open. This is not the plan that we had to have them grow up in a rescue house when they should be in a loving forever home together with a family to bring love and joy. They play, look at them. This has been going on now for like a good half hour. She is so sweet. I don't think there's a mean bone in this dog's body. And he is just so doofy, goofus. He's still puppy. Hello, Dallas. All the way from Australia. Hi, Michelle from Australia. Hello, Lori from Minnesota. Mommy Angel is crying at her window. I just put her in her room. I had her out here. I will be going into her room very shortly. She had a great day, Mommy Angel, today. She had lots of walks and lots of playtime. I just had her out in the yard. She just did her late night poopies. Gage and Godiva, they're here. We had um, Isaac, I had Isaac and Cassie out and we had Brownie and Chip out. You guys tired yet? Mommy, are you tired yet? You ready for bed and get treats before you go to bed? Gage? I guess that's no. So I just sit here and wait until they get tired. When mommy runs away from him, she lets me know she's had enough. They're so gorgeous. Their coats are so shiny. He's as big, if not getting bigger than mommy. We are, how was my day? Thanks for asking, Pauline. You know, it was actually a really great, great day today. Thank you. It was very busy, um, but it was wonderful. I had I love when the volunteers come and help out. We had Pam showed up this morning at 7 a.m. Her and I had coffee outside. We let the babies out. She helped walk everybody while I cleaned the rescue house and got everybody fed and their meds. And then uh, Shelly and Keith came in today. I had a surprise visit from my mother and my brother. Um, Zoe came in all day today helping hanging all these wonderful pictures of our rescue dogs befores and afters so our walls are filling up and it's just a handful of the dogs that we have saved I said my god we're gonna be having photos on the ceilings pretty soon 
but it was a very, very nice, very nice, peaceful day. Um, I slept here last night. I never made it home this morning. And I stayed the entire day, got home at 6 p.m. to my, my dogs tonight. Had a bowl of cereal, a cup of coffee, and then took a nice hot bath and came back to the rescue house with Carol at about 10. And here I am to stay. They are such great people. We have such wonderful, wonderful, wonderful supporters, wonderful volunteers. I wish more volunteers would get involved. It's always the same handful that show up day in and day out. I sound relaxed. Thank you, Edna. I'm getting there. I'm trying to get a balance. Somebody, one of my uh, volunteers today, Jesse, and I wanted to say thank you to Jesse Luzzi and for Gracie um, for covering our fundraiser today at Tats and Tacos. Thank you, Tats and Tacos, for having us. It was a little slow, but we made probably about, I don't know, almost $500. So every little bit adds up and it helps. Are you guys done yet? I need to get the other babies out too, you know. It's not always all about you. Or is it? They don't even listen to me. <laughs> Joyce, what did you say? I missed you on here last night before I went to sleep. I was having Amy withdrawals, but I know yesterday was a really hard day. Oh, God, it was such a hard day, Joyce. I can't even put it into words. I I have to just, um, you know, put everything tucked away or else I would not be able to continue this, this journey and this mission. Um, you know, we process, we cry, we, 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 we heal, um, and then we have to push forward. It's just there's so many that need us. Um, I just sent in a couple, I sent in a couple of rescue holds yesterday after receiving emails from the Miami-Dade Animal Services kill shelter of like last calls again. And um, they were already, they already had rescue holds. So I was very happy to hear that. So I just sent in a rescue hold tonight. I don't know if he has a rescue hold. I don't know if he needs rescue, but I sent in a hold. And he's a 13 year old little dog that the owner surrendered. His chances are getting out of there are slim to none. So he's a Yorkie mix, um, and we sent in a hold. So I will know tomorrow if we get Lucas. If we do, then we will be running to pick up Lucas sometime tomorrow. And the reason and way that I can rescue and send in another hold is because my wonderful, dearest friend, um, Leslie, I hope Kevin's not watching this video. <laughs> um, Leslie, who was, is fostering Onyx, she sent me a message and said, Amy, I can foster Lucas, the 13-year-old, if you get him. So I said, you got it. I immediately sent in a hold. When I have a foster in place, I will send in a hold all day long. Unfortunately, the rescue house is full. There's no space. There's no openings until we start moving some of these dogs. Hi, baby. Hi, Carol. She just left me and she's watching me because she says this is the only way she gets to uh, see me these days. But she gets it. She understands. All right, guys, I'm getting really dizzy. How about, come on, let's go get treats. Come on. I have white sweatpants on. What was I thinking? Come on. Let's go. Who wants a treat? Oh, I got your attention. Okay, okay, come on. Let's go get the treats. Come on. Gage, mommy, let's go. Come on. Come on, Mommy. Mommy, come. Before the gate closes. Come on. You got a window of opportunity. Let's do this. Here. Mommy, come. Come on. Look at this. Come on. You just banged your head, Gage. Oh, God, guys. I can't get them in. They don't want to go to sleep. They're like 100 miles an hour tonight. Bye-bye. We -bye. want to go for a walk. I'm going to have to lie because you won't listen to me. I feel like I have a greyhound in my yard here. Look at how fast she is. Zooming and she maneuvers herself around this table. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. I'm talking to myself, <laughs> I swear to God. Godiva, Gage. Mom. Come on. Bear with me, guys. 
I have some updates I wanted to go over and just update you once I can get these two lunatics in the house. Bye-bye. Wow. Wow. All right. Oh, one in. Come on. Let's go. Look, look. Mommy. Mommy. Here. Oh. I don't know why my picture's getting fuzzy. Come on. Let's go. Right? Meet you and me both. Let's go. In. Now. Treats. Come on. Bye. Good night. Let's see if they follow me. If not, I'll have to go back again. Usually they come right in and follow. Bye, Godiva. Does this work? Come on, guys. Let's go. The neighbors are going to love me <laughs> at midnight. They're not even coming. Look at this. They're like, no, I'm not ready. No sign of them. Come on, I'm serious, Godiva. Let's go. Come on. Here. You want a treat? Come on, Gage. I know you like treats. Come on, Godiva. Maybe you'll follow. Come on. Hi, Gage. Come on. Come on, Godiva. Where's your mother? Why is your head all wet? Bye, Godiva. See you later. Hi, Gage. You're all wet. Did Mommy get you all wet? You have to be tired. Are you tired yet? What? we got to get Mommy in. Hold on. Stay. Come on, Mommy. Let's go. Oh, there goes Gage. <laughs> Come on. All right, I'm going to have to get her with a leash. She doesn't want to come in. Come on. Let's go. You guys are wiping me out. Totally wiping me out tonight. Come on, let's get a treat. Come on. I'm going to have to get your mommy. Would you already messed up the bed? I made everything nice for you. Oh, Gage. Come on, there's one bed. And you messed up your blankie. Hold on, let me get you a treat. Hold on, guys. Here, I'm not on my phone. Here. Come here. Look at that. Good boy. Now to get your mother in here. See what I have to go through? Do you see? <laughs> you can't stop laughing? How do you think I feel? About time. Let's go, Missy. Come on. Get in the house. Here. Here. I got you. Let's go. Come on. Get in the house. You playing games with me tonight, Mommy? Huh? Here. Come on. She's like, please don't put me in there. He's on fire tonight, huh? You kept him going, Mommy. Get in there. Come on. Oh, guys, we need homes for these babies. She is enduring her time. Here, Mommy. Thank you. Good girl. Now go lay down and get some rest. Go night-nights. I love you both. I see you in the morning. It's late. Engage. you behave yourself tonight. You hear? Go lay down, Mama. If, you, if this is too much, you can always sign off. But this is my routine before I call it a night. Oh, good. They're sleeping. Brownie and Chip are sound asleep. I just had them out. Of course you're waiting by the door. Of course. You're always waiting by the door. Yes. Alexa off. What's up, Mama? Up. What? We were just out. What? <laughs> what? What? Can I take my shoes off? Hold on. Let me close the door. Stay. Come here, Mommy. <laughs> Get in. Watch out. So, guys, let me say something about Angel. 
Every, everybody's like, oh my God, Amy, I'm so worried about you. You have such a connection. Yes, of course, I have a connection. I, this dog was so anxiety. And remember, everything... Hold on, I'm going to flip it because... Okay. Okay, come here. Oh, okay. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. She was such anxiety um, that I just... She needed me, so... I'm here, and this is what I do for her. Uh, I comfort her, and, um, you know, after her babies, and she couldn't nurse her babies, right? You missed them. You missed them. Now you don't miss them. You don't miss them now because you get loving, right, Mama? Oh, oh goodness gracious me. I can't move. <laughs> I can't move. She is on top of me. Oh, Mama. I know, I know, I love you. I know it, I know it. I love you. Come here. Oh, come up, come up. You can't get up. Mommy, you're pulling my shirt up. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, back in my regular position. Mommy, you're pulling my clothes. I'm sorry, guys. She's just all over me. So as I was saying about Angel, um... I love her. I am so connected to her, but I, exactly, I saved her spirit. I saved her spirit when she was, mommy, you got to stop pushing my shirt up. Seriously. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come here. Come on. All right. Do I have to get a comforter because you keep moving my clothes? This is like porn here. We've got a porno going on here. Um, as I was saying, you know, she came into our organization as a surrender, um, and she was full term pregnant on her third pregnancy. Her previous pregnancy was so hard on her and she lost, I think she had two of the seven puppies survived. What mama? What? Where's my kisses? Where's my kisses? I don't see any kisses tonight. Mommy. Give me Come here. Come here. I don't see any kisses. Where's my kisses? Huh? Where are they? Where's <laughs> the kisses? Where's my belly? Where's my belly and kisses tonight? Where is it? <sighs> what? Oh, oh, she walks all over me. Has to be laying on top of me. Mommy, this is really not comfy. It's just not. Can you come over here, please? Can you please come over here? Thank you. Oh. Goodness gracious. Okay, you don't have to go to the end of the bed. You can come up here and lay. Now she's mad at me because I asked her to get off my chest. Can you stand this? Okay, so I have... She came into us pregnant. Sorry, my hair's wet. It came from the quick bath and I just whipped it up and I just... Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I don't have any time for myself because I spent all my time on all of you. There's no time for myself whatsoever. I'm lucky I can take a shower and brush my teeth. Um, so she came into the rescue and she, yes, Erica, we do. We, this is, hello, this is her. And she's on top of my chest, literally across me, like pinning me down. So, <coughs> so I, really? So I can't get up. Is that so I can't leave you and get up and leave the room? Hmm? Do you want a treat? Did you want to go back outside again? Hmm? Did you want to go out? Did, did, did you want to, did you want to go outside? Oh, you do? Again? Again? You just came inside. But you just came inside, Mama. <laughs> She's ridiculous. She's amazing. Right? Are you amazing, 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 full of love? Are you full of love? Hmm? Is that all you are? Is love? She's an angel in the car. Her name suits her so perfect. She's an angel in the car. She's an angel on walks. Um, all she wants to do is love and love and cuddle and cuddle and cuddle. And she's not destructive. She doesn't potty in her room. She's completely potty trained. I know. Look at her face, those eyes. She's amazing. I'm telling you. Tell everybody how amazing you are. Huh? Look. Tell them.
Give kisses to everybody. Give them kisses. Give kisses. Give them kisses. What? Give kisses, mommy. Say I'm beautiful. Say I'm beautiful angel. That's so pretty. Sweetest eyes in the world. Oh. God, lay down, relax, lay down, relax. There you go, mama. She listens to every word I say. Every word I say. So we do have um, somebody that's interested. She came a couple of times and spent some great time with her here at the rescue house. She uh, works from home. Are you listening? Because this is about you, Angel. This is about you. Are you listening? You look oh, cool. You listening? She works from home, and she has two cats. Um, Angel, I was told by her previous owner it, that she is she grew up with a cat, so that would make me think that she's cat friendly. Um, on walks, she has run into ran into a couple of cats, and she's been totally fine, no aggression whatsoever, um, no growls, no nothing, and. Um, she wants, she really wants Angel. So I, I talked to her this evening. I told her my concern is her cats are very, 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 very clingy Velcro cats. Um, and one of them sleeps like on top of her. And I know that's what Angel's going to want to do. So I just want to make sure that Angel's okay sharing her person with a cat who's going to be right here. So picture, you know, Angel this and then the cat right here will the cat stay will angel be okay with it well maybe she'll love the cat maybe she'll cuddle with the cat i don't know um so anyways i spoke to cindy tonight who lives in pembroke pines and i made arrangements for uh tuesday sorry i made arrangements for tuesday to bring uh miss angel over to her home in the afternoon and do, you know, meet and greet with her cats, a home check, and just kind of feel, feel out and see how Angel feels when she is there. Um, and if it's great, it has, I told her it has to be amazing. If my gut isn't, she said, I trust your judgment. So she said, I really, really, really want this to work. We both feel that it would, wouldn't be fair if we didn't try. So we're going to, I'm going to bring her over on Tuesday in the afternoon about 2 30 and spend about an hour there and see how it goes so this could be a great wonderful opportunity cindy is a wonderful human being with a beautiful heart um she really loves her and wants to you know i told you, you have to be super affectionate angel needs somebody like me <laughs> that is very 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 warm and affectionate there are different personalities there are different types of people uh, there are, I've met people that don't like a dog kissing them in their face. Um, obviously you saw what I just went through. That's not happening. I don't want to have her pushed away because, and no, no kisses. That, that's, that's who she is. That's her personality. Um, <clears throat> how am I going to feel without Angel not there? You know, um, of course I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss her terribly. I'll, I'm, how am I going to feel? I'm going to save another one. I'm going to save another angel. And this is what we do. This is what I've been doing for seven years with 4,000. We're almost at 4,000 dogs that we have rescued. And I have fallen in love, guys, so many times. So many times. Um, I love all of the rescues. Do not get me wrong. Angel, I need to get up for a second. I have to show everybody something. Can I get up, please? Hello? Missy? Hello? Angel? Look at this. All right. Angel, I need to get up. <laughs> You're into Angel. Stop it. You are ridiculous. No, 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 no. Lay down on that bed. I will be right back. Alexa, play KD Lang. Stay. Stay. I will be right back. Go get some food and water. I'll be right back. Listen to KD Lang, okay? I'll be right back. Look at the fade. Stay.
good girl. So I wanted to show you something, what we did today. It came out so beautiful in my opinion. Um, when we moved into the rescue house, we started hanging some pictures on the walls of our dogs, just a handful really. This is nothing and it's something of course, but it's nothing compared to the dogs that we have rescued in this organization. And um, I, Pauline, I did find, no, I cried like a baby when Poncho was adopted, but you know what, Pauline? I knew he got the best home, so when I left there, my heart was so happy. And I keep, t I keep up with him, and I'm always welcome, so yes. And of course, I wanted him so bad. Oh my God, I thought I was gonna die without my Poncho. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, so anyways, back to Zoe and my wife Carol. We're here all day today, and this is what they've accomplished. So, okay, look at this. This is one wall, and then this is the opposite wall. We have started placing all of our dogs. So here we have, we have Albert, Morgan and Sloan. I'm not gonna go through all the names, but I want you to take a peek. Look at all these babies that we've rescued. Look, look at Princess before, near death, and after. This is mine and Carol's personal baby. This is Diamond. We rescued her as a little puppy from a cruelty case. Poor Atlas, who came in with blood and scabs everywhere. He's living the life. Mommy Joy, who we rescued from a major cruelty case with the help of our wonderful Judy Webb with her puppies. Sick, sick. That one I can't even go into. Look at Rocky, this was a Miami Dade last call. That's how he came in in a, in a box. Look at that, a cardboard box. And now he is spoiled rotten. Remember Will? Look at that dog, Liberty City. Look at that, a whole house full of dogs in that condition. Look at him now. So this is what we do. This is what we live for. Remember Murphy? This is a hoarding case I got called on. Showed up at the house and there were 29 dogs locked in one room. They were living in cages, on, stacked on top of each other, matted to the core of their bodies, infested with fleas and ticks, living with feces and urine and cockroaches. I went in with our team, everybody came with SUVs loaded with clean crates, bedding. We took 29 dogs out of that house and here they are afterwards, all of them. Groomed, all adopted. Lucy! Those are the babies, just a handful. And then, of course, our beautiful Mandy, Miami Day dog, hot warm positive. Look at that. Look at that now. Disco. Baby. Look at baby. Look at baby now. There's mine. My personal dog Brody was found on the streets. Little Haiti. And there's my Brody now. And then our beautiful powder that we found in the woods, deep in the woods, she went there to die. Heartworm positive nipples hitting the floor. And then there she was, and she passed recently. And then our little Harry, who was also a last call at Miami-Dade. He recently passed, but he passed about a year ago. There he was. And there's our Phoenix. Look at this dog in this condition found in rural, rural Miami, bleeding from every part, every piece of his body. And then there's our gorgeous, massive, magnificent she, Phoenix. Sorry. Um, of course, our sweet Glory. And then there's our Disco. And our sweet Hercules that we rescued in rural Miami. He was emaciated with a bullet in his leg, a broken leg. He was tortured. And he had the best life with our Tammy, and then he passed. Um, over here, I think you saw all of these. We added Roxy, a Miami Dade. Spoiled rotten, now Bimini. And this was one of the first dogs ever rescued in 100 plus that I put my hands on. This is how she was found in the woods near death. And that's what she looked like when she was revived and she recently passed. 
And there's our Louis who passed. And then what can you take this? Everybody that looks says, what is that? That is Buster's face. That is Buster's body. That is Buster now. That it was glory. And now. And Tootie, Miami Dade. And Lulu, Miami Dade. Neglected, horrible, now. Buddy. Buddy was found on the side of the highway. Call, we got a call by the fire department. We had Buddy for like four years, if not more. And he's adopted in loving life. There's our Murphy. There's our Albert. There's our sweet buttercup who passed. Joss. And then Valentina, who came from the same hoarding house as Will and Grace. Look at her now. Of course, our gorgeous Raquel. Turbo. Look at Turbo. Look at how he was found on the streets. It's like he looks like a, a wild wolf. And now he is magnificent. Callie, now Blondie. This is how she was found in rural, rural Miami. Nipples full of milk, gorged with milk, with a complete litter of puppies we took in the entire family. And there's our gorgeous girl now, adopted and doing wonderful. And then over here is Mabel. She was the last call at the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter. And she just grabbed me like, I can't even tell you that face. She was the last call gonna be killed. And then, there she is, and she's doing great. Um, you guys had another Valentina from the Redlands. Absolutely, Vanessa. Um, we got a call on Valentine's Day. It was all over the news. She was shot several different times. We drove out, Carol and I, to rural, rural, rural Miami. And when I tell you, when I tell you how we were so scared, we both looked at each other and said, we're not gonna make it out alive. We're not, we're not gonna get out alive. She was shot. Come on, let's go outside one last time. Peepees. What, mama? Your ear feeling better? She had a little ear thing. We got medicine in it. So she should be feeling better now that it's kicking in. Um, you're so welcome, Gretchen. That's why we, I may look tired. <laughs> you're talking almost 4,000 dogs and in seven years with no break, no days off, no vacations. And yes, I will say you're talking about total dedication. Um, myself, my team, and... Uh, it's just endless. It's just endless. There's my girl, late night, late night peepees. Go peepees, mama. She already did her poopy, so it's just a little bit last fresh air. Hi, can I have my coffee now that's ice cold? Never did get to drink it. Um, it was a very late night, Vanessa. I'm sorry I got distracted. Uh, I got, we got a call about a dog that was shot and <clears throat> she was out in deep, deep, deep Redlands. I don't know where we, we, we picked up these two wonderful women. I didn't even know them um, because they're the ones that reached out to me for help for this dog, Valentina. Called her Valentine, actually. We named her Valentine. It was Valentine's Day. That is where Carol and I spent our Valentine's Day in our car driving all the way to the Redlands, rural Miami, out in the middle of nowhere, no lights on the street, dirt roads, uh, very dangerous. And we picked these two women up in Miami on the way. And as we're pulling up and they're directing us, they're telling us as we're driving down this dirt road, oh, there was a dog that was burned alive over there, a German Shepherd. I'm like, I can't even handle this right now. Um, we got out, it was pitch black. This guy opens up this like, horse gate for us and we drive in on this dirt and gravel and I didn't even we couldn't see where we were going and we just drove and drove and drove towards the back of his property he got out he opened up this door to this little tiny shed and there she was laying there and we didn't know if she was friendly we didn't know anything 
and we pulled our truck up as close as we could. We had to pick her up and put her in our car in the back seat with the two women, um, drop them off, and then drive to the 24-hour hospital, Lauderdale Veterinary, where the doctors immediately ran in and, and triage and it was crazy. It was all over the news. They did a full-blown story. They did x-rays and they found um, gunshot. They found bullets in her legs and several several bullets that she was being shot at. She, was a, uh, she is a beautiful American and she got adopted when I pulled up to the woman's house who reached out to me. Um, not only did she move into a neighborhood like a mansion, uh, which is always a nice bonus but that does not impress me but the fact that the woman was like an angel when I tell you the most loving sweetest she adores her so talk about a fairy tale after a horrific existence with that dog had to endure those are the things that truly keeps me going and I know my team we talk about it all the time you could actually for any of you, you can just Google um, Valentine, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. I guarantee it will come up on the news. It's all over the place. I haven't looked at that in a while. Mama, what are you doing tonight? Huh? Are we going to cuddle? Are we going to sleep together and cuddle? So, okay, really quick before my phone dies. Um, tomorrow, I have a wonderful family coming with their two little seniors. I know one of them's name is Elvis. It's a senior Pomeranian with a tongue hanging out. He looks like a little teddy bear. And um, she's coming with her son, I believe, and her two dogs to meet Onyx. Onyx was just recently neutered and had his fistulas closed up in his mouth with Dr. Carlos. And they are doing a meet and greet. And uh, hopefully if all goes well, Onyx will be going home. So that's for Onyx. Um, what else do I have tomorrow is Sunday. That's pretty much it unless something happens before, between now and tomorrow. Um, and then I have a, um, a tribute I have to go to, not have to, but we are going, Carol and I, some friends of ours from our team. Recently we lost a very, very dear friend of ours, Beverly McClellan. And she was just one amazing, amazing, beautiful spirit. Um, had a gift and a talent like I've never seen. She was a, a, a singer. She was on The Voice. Um, they just did tributes all over the news about her. So we are going to celebrate her life tomorrow um, at our dearest friend Tammy's bar, uh, Jay's bar. That's where she would entertain a lot. That was her home, her original home. So we're all going to get together and we're going to celebrate her and we should be there pretty much most of the day. So I will be here all morning. I'm sleeping here and I'm taking care of the babies and I will be heading out probably around two-ish um, and that's where I will be and then I'll be back here tomorrow night after that. So I know an amazing voice, Pauline. It's, it's, I have no words. I listen to her. I have saved so many, so many um, videos that I took of her singing at our benefits. She sang at almost every one of our benefits and fundraisers for free. So she's an, she was an amazing, amazing, beautiful spirit. And I hope she is resting in sweet peace paradise. And I hope that she is just soaring and just at peace. Wait, gone way too soon, way too soon. Now you can go to bed, Joyce. Everybody, good night, Sammy and Toby. <clears throat> Sweet dreams, Joyce. <clears throat> Everybody, I just wanted to check in because it seems like when I don't, you guys get mad at me and you start yelling and sending me messages. So, um, I, you know, sometimes it's late and I'm like, oh, is it too late? And I'm like, obviously not because look at all you late night owls. I love to see other people home on a Saturday night and it's not just me. Um, I'm not out. I'm not out at a bar. <laughs> I'd rather be right here where I am with my babies, right here. Hey, Susan Ho, good night. Sweet dreams to you as well. Sweet dreams, everybody. Um, I will check in tomorrow. Obviously, if Onyx does get adopted, then you need your late night with Amy. I'm right here. Pauline, love you. Love you. Um, I will <clears throat> check in tomorrow. If Onyx gets adopted, you know I will be going live from the rescue house with a video 
Uh, so everybody say a prayer that it's a good fit for Onyx and he will get his forever home. And then we, um, I will update you to see if my rescue hold that I sent in for Lucas, the 13-year-old owner surrendered at the kill shelter that is overcrowded, to see if we got our rescue hold. If not, I will look and I will see who else needs us. Um, I want to save a life in memory of my sweet, our sweet Alfie. Um, that is what we do. We always move forward. So everybody, sweet dreams, good night, and I will see you tomorrow. This is Amy signing off with Angel 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Mommy, you ready? Let's go. Come on. Let's go night nights. Sweet dreams.